the role of a farmer in economic development cannot be underestimated. The Kenyan High Commissioner to Uganda, Major General George Owino, knows this too well. That's why the ambassador visited farmers in the rural districts of Kiriandongo, Lira, Dokolo, Lamo, and Amuru. For this particular issue of uh, why I came in this team, uh, it's about food and about food security. We all know that uh, Kenya is not blessed with uh, enough food because of the conditions, because of the soils, because of the rain food pattern and so on and so forth. Uganda is blessed with all that. And therefore Uganda is able to produce food in quantities and also cheaper. Um, um, people will be surprised to hear that you can grow maize in four months yeah, and harvest. In Kenya you only have one season, you only grow once a year. Uh, so it doesn't matter how much acreage you have. So what we are looking at in, is in terms of if Uganda has got excess capacity and as a neighbor, can he support Kenya in terms of food in a structured manner? Major General Owino also visited some Kenyan affiliated agro enterprises that are helping to create a ready market for farm produce such as cassava, maize, soya beans, among others. Cassava, de, you know, you know, degenerate very fast. So we normally process within 24 hours from the harvesting time. So once the, 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 the farmers bring the cassava, we, we go through the process as we've walked through before and we produce uh, the cassava chips which then we dry. After drying, we then uh, some of our customers normally take them as the dried chips and others normally require them to be milled and we all normally mill them to the specifications required. We have come and invested in a storage capability. We have the plan on how to scale up. We have brought them to come and see where we are and we are telling them produce and this is our physical location. We are not going to live here. Uh, the word that we have given you is we are here, plant and we shall buy. I welcome the idea of the Kenyans and Shamba Bora for coming us to help us in this because I will think if they bring mechanization it will be okay and if they teach us the gap our production will increase and our farmers will benefit more. They will educate their children, they will build the houses, they will buy more land. Some of these enterprises have over the years boosted their capacity to buy and process agricultural produce thanks to TAD Capital, a private equity firm that offers long-term financing to agro-enterprises in an effort to achieve the two SDGs of zero hunger and no poverty. Unlike the traditional banking where they would give you I don't think there is any bank who can give you money in agriculture for more than, uh, say, three or five years. But for that capital private equity scheme, you get that funding for as, as long as eight years. And in terms of um, understanding the, the agricultural sector, we look at uh, the uniqueness and the peculiarity that are, are inherent in the agricultural um, production. So we give you a very, a very appropriate um, um, moratorium. Well endowed with fertile and virgin land, Northern Uganda is increasingly being seen as a key part in Uganda and indeed the East African community's food security strategy. Dennis Igoa for UBC Business.